Hello all. So you know how much I love contemporary. It's really no secret how much I love contemporary. A lot of my reviews are contemporary. I talk about contemporary quite a lot. It's I love contemporary, bottom line. I've had videos in the past where I've talked about my favorite contemporary books, particular authors in contemporary, but I thought today I would share with you my top five favorite contemporary authors of all time. There are a lot of contemporary authors out there in the YA universe, but I thought I'd talk about my top five. If you've been around my channel for a while, these top five will probably be very predictable and that's okay you know if you're new to my channel then great you're gonna find some new authors to read but anyway I just thought I would share with you my top five because like I said I love contemporary and let's begin so for my fifth one I'm combining kind of two into one if you will so I'm combining Sarah Ockler and Huntley Fitzpatrick they're both contemporary authors that I really like I put them in the both of them in the five slot because yes I do like them very much they're not my favorite favorite but I really highly like them Sarah Ockler um, has written I want to say four or five contemporary books. I've read pretty much all of them except for her newest one. I think it's on The Summer of Chasing Mermaids. But my favorite one of hers by far is uh, called Bittersweet. That's such a great one. And there's also The Book of Broken Hearts, which is also another great one. And then 20 Boy Summer, also amazing. She writes a lot of kind of sad kind of contemporary, I would say, but they're very, very good. I love them. They're awesome. Within the five slot, we have Huntley Fitzpatrick, who's written three books. She has written um, My Life Next Door, which is her um, first one, and by, by far my favorite of them all. The next one she has written is What I Thought Was True and the one that just came out this past year which is kind of almost a sequel if you will to The Boy Next Door is called The Boy Most Likely 2. These are all really great. The covers are amazing. I give Huntley Fitzpatrick hands down the best covers of the bunch because they just look beautiful. Their spines are so so pretty but she writes a lot of I'd say lovey-dovey, a lot of kind of beachy stuff. It's really good. I really highly like her as well so if you're looking for definitely a summer one. I would definitely read Holly Fitzpatrick in the summer because there's nothing better than reading her books in the summer. Moving on to number four. Four slot. I have Stephanie Perkins. And I know a lot of you are like, why is she not higher up in your list? I love Stephanie Perkins. I don't love her books as much as I love some other contemporary books. So that's why she's number four. I mean, she's in my top five. So obviously I love her. She's written three books, quite essentially the Anna and the French Kiss trilogy, if you will. And this is what they look like. The first one is Anna and the French Kiss, which is my favorite by far. Anna and the French Kiss is such that lovey-dovey. If you're looking for a romance to gush into and just ooh and all over, this is your perfect perfect book for it. It's like that cutesy love story. And then you have Lola and the Boy Next Door, also Gush Worthy. All of these are Gush Worthy. And our last one that just came out, I want to say a couple years ago, is I Love the Happily Ever After. My least favorite of the bunch. Still really good. I just really didn't like it as much. So what's interesting about this trilogy, if you will, is each takes place from a different point of view of a girl, but all the characters pretty much intertwine in them. So I highly recommend reading them in order, which is the order I said. So Anna the French Kiss, Lola, and Isla. Still a really great trilogy romantic lovey-dovey trilogy for sure. If you want to get yourself into some gush-worthy, swoon-worthy romance, look no further than Stephanie Perkins. She writes pretty. It's beautiful. So I highly recommend her, obviously. Just want you to this list. Moving on to my number three author. I have selected Morgan Matson. I love Morgan Matson. Morgan Matson. I love her writing style. I love the differentiate, like the different type of um, books she's put out. I like that. Like, I, I love contemporaries. I don't mind series, but I'm not sure that I have standalones. That's just how I am. I'd rather just like be done with that character's chapter, let's move on to another character and get involved with them and love them. That's what I like a lot. I love Morgan Matson's how each one of her books is different. They don't really intertwine at all, so they're all standalones. You could read one, you could read all three, you could read two, whatever you want to do. So she has written three novels as far as I know. <laughs> the first one is Amy the Rogers Epic Detour, which is my favorite. Oh my gosh, I love this book. This is about a girl and boy who go on a road trip together. And what's awesome is this book's kind of interactive. It has playlists in it. It has pictures from. The author actually took this road trip that she wrote about and photographed it and playlisted all that stuff. So which really makes it really awesome. It's just such a really good coming like love story. It's just, it's really awesome. I love this book so dearly much. We have a Second Chance Summer, which is a very, very sad but amazing book. This is about a girl that goes back to her family's like lake house or something for the summer and her dad's um, getting sick and it's very very sad. It made me cry. There's, it's been one of few books that has made me cry but it was so good. So 
beautiful, beautifully written. I loved it so. And then her newest one, which came out, I think, um, like, ugh, oh, May 2014, is Since You've Been Gone, which is a story about two best friends. One of them kind of just up and leaves, and she leaves, like, this list of things she wants the other best friend to do, like dare her stuff to do. It's such a good friendship, such a good love story involved in it. It's so good. I love Morgan Matson with her writing and it's just, she's phenomenal. If you're looking for a good friendship book, a good road trip book, a good sad book, and love intertwining all three of these, you have them all right here within your hand. So buy Morgan Matson. Like, don't think about it, just do it. Getting down to the nitty gritty, even though top fives already kind of quintessentially nitty gritty in itself, we have Rainbow Roll. I love Rainbow Roll. Um, she's only really written two, technically three, her third one just came out YA books, and she's written two adult ones, but I still, I just love her. Her writing is so beautiful. You just get involved in the stories. You never want to leave. It's just so amazing. First one's Eleanor and Park, which is my favorite Rainbow Roll. A lot of people's favorite is Fangirl. Mine is Eleanor and Park. It's about this girl and guy who fall in love, and they both have very different lives, and it's very sad, but still very beautiful. I love it so much. I highly recommend this one. I mean, Fangirl, it's about a um, twin sisters, but we could essentially just follow one and her learning how to go out into the world, how to be herself, how to not be so attached to her sister all the time, and she finds love. Meanwhile, she writes fan fiction, and it's just a really, really awesome, beautiful, funny, cute book. This is very cutesy. This is very sad loving, I would say. And then we have her newest one, which is called Carry On, which actually takes place in the point of view of a fan fiction character she read about, which is Simon and Baz, who are essentially in the Harry Potter world, pretty much. I haven't read that one yet, but I've heard amazing things about it, but Rainbow Roll just is up there. And she's written two adult books, which I both love, um, Landline, an amazing book about marriage and stuff like that. And then she also wrote Attachments about, that's just, oh, that's, that's such a cute, loving story. Rainbow Roll just really envelopes you in this warm hug, I would say. You know, it just makes you feel like, you know, you never want to leave the story, you never want to leave these characters. She just writes them so perfectly. I love them so much. I highly recommend any Rainbow Roll. So my favorite contemporary author, it should come as no surprise to anybody watching this, and that is going to be a Miss Sarah Dessen. I love Sarah Dessen. I have talked about Sarah Dessen for years on this channel. I started a book club of Sarah Dessen. Um, I have several videos, which I will link all right here and down below if you want to go check them out. I just Sarah Dessen, to me, is the queen of contemporary. That's to me. She has written over like eight novels. I have them all. I've read them all. I love some more than others, but more than likely, but more than most, I love all of them so much. I even have a video of my favorite Sarah Dessen books if you want to see which ones are my favorite because she's written like so many, at least 12 I want to say. I just love Sarah Dessen. Every Sarah Dessen book I feel is involves love but also involves like a life lesson whether it be find, trying to find yourself after the death of a family member trying to get back into the relationship of a family picking up the pieces of your broken life picking up like it's all about almost all of our books about self-discovery learning more about yourself being okay with it each one has a different lesson like the truth about forever is about a girl's father dying and her trying to figure out herself learn how to love again learn how to be happy lock and keys about a girl reconnecting with her sister after her mom is pretty much taken off just listen about people about letting like trying to get other people to listen to you with things that have happened in your life and nobody's really listening and learning how to you know make them listen to you i like i've said before i love sarah dessen sarah dessen it's just amazing. I highly recommend if you're trying to find books to read in the contemporary genre to start with Sarah Dessen. Any book will do, really. Like I said, I have videos about it. I just love Sarah Dessen. There's other really, I could keep saying that over and over and over again. Dessen just writes beautifully. I love her stories. I love how it's a one and done type of thing. There's no sequels. I just really love that. And a lot of her books take place in this beachy town, which are perfect to read in spring, but really. If, you're, if I'm honest, you can read Sarah Dessen anytime of year and you'll be like, good to go. Those but, are my top five contemporary authors. And I know there's tons more, and I know I left some out, like Jenny Han and um, Katie McGuire and stuff like that. I do love them, but they're not my top five, if I'm honest. That's just being me. Please let me know in the comments if you love these authors as much as I do. And yeah, uh, I have a video talking about my top 10 contemporary novels, but it's almost been two years to the date since I've done that video. So if you guys want an updated version of that, because I've read a lot more contemporary obviously in two years, please let me know because I love talking about contemporary. It's no joke there. I would love to film another one for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up, and I will talk to you later. Bye.